<clears throat> Hello, Capricorn. It's nice to be with you again here in this moment in space and time. Thanks for checking out this little YouTube channel and these readings. Um, I want to thank you guys for your overwhelming support, views, and subscriptions and likes. It's so happy that when I get to read for you guys and when uh, I hear back from you in the comments, it's it just makes it for me, really. Like, I can't do it without you. Like, if there's nobody watching, I probably wouldn't do it. So, thanks, guys. Um, I want also to let you know that the comments, like, the little YouTube channel is growing so much that I'm having trouble, like, addressing all of the comments now. I'm going to try, keep trying to. Um, but I want you guys to know that I read them all. And I'm going to give them in uh, all the little thumbs up there. Or give them a little, a little heart so that you guys know that I did read them. And I, I thank you guys for sharing. When you guys share the stories about how the reading resonates, that's wicked. That's wicked awesome. Um, and so, yeah, I just want to let you know that. And I want, as always, to uh, wish you all the best in love, abundance, bliss, joy comfort all those things we're going to ask tarot here tarot what are the messages for capricorn and people under the influence of capricorn whether ascendant moon sun or just somebody that you love and know uh or want to know about in capricorn what are the hidden messages what are any stuck energies what are any healing messages that need to come forward at this time mid-may capricorn oh and the fool is coming forward the cool, the fool. How cool is the fool? He is the fool, and he's up in an overall energy, which means this is, could be a very playful time for you guys. This is a time not to take anything too seriously. Don't take if somebody comes along and rubs you the wrong way, don't take it to heart. Just shrug that person off. Like, see how his arm is down like this? This is like the old saying my grandma used to say, like, don't be so sensitive. It's water off a duck's back. And I'd be like, what does that mean, grandma? And she'd be like, you'll figure it out. Like. <clears throat> don't be so sensitive don't take it to heart people generally if things aren't going their way they can be a little bit shrew a little bit jerky and they will like try and like put negative energy onto other people if they're given the opportunity and sometimes it can be just like a stranger in a coffee shop you know when you're in a crowded room and you bump shoulders against that person we've all been there right and they just look at you with disgust like some people like where I'm at, usually people are like, oh, I'm sorry, real sorry. And a lot of people will will do that, right? But other people, you just get, they just like, don't even look back. And you're just like, oh, right? I don't even like, but this fool is saying like, if stuff like that is happening, we really just have to like really laugh it off. Let's be in our own power in these next couple of weeks, Capricorn. And that's like, just kind of like laugh at negativity for the futile uselessness that it is kind of thing, right? And for some of you, the Fool is a major energy of embarking on a new task, a new mission, a new journey, a new chapter in life. The Fool has recently uh, completed something in their life and they are free now to begin again, to begin anew. And whatever that means to you, you can apply it to your situation. Uh, the Fool knows no boundaries. The Fool, you cannot keep the Fool inside a box. You cannot keep the Fool uh, locked down inside a house, right? anywhere they're just going to do what they want to do right like this is very uh passionate very free free roaming uh renegade type energy even right where it's just like i'm gonna do what i want to do when i want to do it and do you want to do it with me or you know then come along right um so yeah the fool will leave that up in the overall energy great energy to see there capricorn love that car i don't think since i've started these this year i haven't seen the fool come up at the bottom of the deck for any sign in any reading until just now. So that's that's awesome. All right, back to grounding. We've got Knight of Wands. So let's look at the people in our environment, the people we've come here maybe to find out about. We could be dealing with a fire sign, someone in Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. This is somebody who really stands out. They could be like incredibly attractive, or they could just like dress in a way that's just like, you're just like, wow, like, <laughs> what goes on with this person like they this is usually like an eccentric type person that is moving through their element of passion of spirit where they're like they're expressing themselves through dance or through their dress or um through their spoken word right um and it doesn't always have to be like outrightly so sometimes it's very subtle but it you'll know it's noticeable is what i'm saying right and knight of wands are also some people that have like um 
a passion, whatever that might be, right? Like for some people, like maybe it's chess, like everything chess all the time, or like someone's taking up the kazoo and they play the kazoo all the time, right? And they, you're like, do you want to go out for a nice dinner? And they're like, no, I want to just play my kazoo, right? That's all they want to do is that thing, that one thing that they're passionate about. Um, and it's not that it's a bad thing, but it's just like sometimes these energies go through us and through the people around us and you just kind of like wonder like what's up with them like why are they so obsessed with the Galdang kazoo a kazoo is a horrible like it could be anything it could be snowboarding it could be skateboarding it could be like uh working on a car like you know, somebody who's like got an old vintage car that they're fixing up and that's all they want to do right or they're just like this is kind of like um you know michael jackson red leather coat with a ton of zippers on it type dude that you see walking down the street that's that kind of person so when I have this combined with this, this could be you just really wanting to express yourself this spring. So some of you are going to be doing some uh, clothes shopping, I feel, is going to be a big thing. Updating the wardrobe uh, is going to be a big one for some of you, really in touch with what you're feeling, what you're wearing. Um, and there's like some vanity here. And it's not like don't take vanity as a bad thing. Vanity is vanity. You're just... You're looking in the mirror, you're appreciating yourself and you're not feeling ashamed for the way you want to look and the way you want to express yourself and that's just fine. You go ahead and do that Capricorn because uh, we should never be made to feel ashamed for chasing our dreams and going after what we want. And both of these cars are saying we have an opportunity now to go uh, running down a dream or chasing down a dream and we actually are in recognition of what this dream is if we want to internalize this card now as us as Sag as sorry capricorn as capricorn it's got sagittarian energy for sure so there could be some crossover um but there's capricorn uh, is like looking at in recognition of what their dream is at this time and it's almost like you've heard the starting gun go off now and it's like you're able to define it and get after it go for it right that kind of thing good energy to see there in grounding because when we have recognition we then balance the environment around us in order to pursue the goal so we've set the goal and we're like okay what is the quickest way from point a to point b with point b being the goal and we start manipulating and not manipulating a bad word everybody gives these words negative manipulating simply just means like i am manipulating these cars changing affecting the environment around us so that we can go in a linear direction towards our goal and that is a real grounding energy you know if we're like uh, making sure our laundry is done on a Sunday night. So when we wake up in the Monday morning, there's no residual energy left over to like hold us back or to make us think, ah, I haven't taken care of that yet. It's actually very grounding, very responsible type energy. And I really enjoy seeing that there. Okay, let's move on. I'm getting long winded. These readings are so long. Oh my goodness, you guys. All right. Ace of cups reversed up here in solar plexus chakra. Okay, guys. So, uh, some of you may be thinking that, uh, it might be time to reach out to a lover, to a friend, to somebody uh, in an emotional way. Um, I feel that this is a bit of a block. To see this card reverse, I feel like uh, Capricorn at present time may not be at their fullest potential. Emotional and love energies right now might, may not be in a place of expansion. They may be kind of at a standstill. Or some of you may be looking to find that perfect person for you. Some of you may be at the, find yourself desiring and longing for love. For some of you, that might be the goal, this perfect relationship and kind of revamping your image your, through nice clothes, through uh, where you're hanging out and changing the things about some of the things about you in order to be more attractive and, and to, to somebody that you're attracted to. Because we're kind of like on that, on that scale of it's like, well... I'm attracted to a certain individual. Um, is that the expectation? Would that individual be attracted to me? So some Capricorns, I feel that there might be a bit some self-confidence, some self-esteem issues uh, that are coming in with spring. And it might just be as mundane as it's like, you're not quite comfortable yet getting into the shorts because you don't have a tan yet. I mean, that's... Or for some of you, it might just be like, well, uh, I you know, I haven't... Uh, you know, I haven't been in this type of social environment for so long. I'm really apprehensive 
or I'm really scared to go there uh, by myself right now and nobody really wants to do this with me kind of thing. And it's just like some certain discomforts that are coming along, I feel. And some of it's body image and some of it's more like psychological or socially driven, okay? I want to just look on a mundane level what that could be mean. There could just be like, uh, some of you could be like abstaining from... Uh, sexual intercourse at this time some of you may be like if you are in a partnership some something is suggesting that you might just be holding back you guys might just be going through the motions like where is the passion in the sex type card with this ace of cups reverse i just wondering why why it's there why is ace of cups there for capricorn in this spread if i've said sagittarius i'm sorry it's just like i i'm just loose in the gums i guess all right so we've got the Magician, we've got the Nine of Wands, we've got the Queen of Cups, okay? Maybe intuitively you're just feeling like this is a time where I, you know, you are focused on one individual and that you're not with that individual at this time. You're, you could be longing for a particular lover uh, and this could very well be a fire sign how this has come up. You might be distanced from a fire sign lover at, right, at present time or this fire sign is not seeing you and this is even though this is water sign i'm taking this up because we're initiating this as you uh in queen of cups intuitively these are two people that are not seeing eye to eye because someone is kind of uh currently sidetracked with a different obsession rather than directing their love towards this person okay and this person may be just like pining over this person but not doing anything not saying anything the magician is saying if we want to bring something about in terms of our love life, in terms of spicing things up in the bedroom, we really need to um, kind of overflow. We need to come out of our shells, so to speak, Capricorn. It's almost like uh, cocoon type energy where the, the butterfly comes out type thing, right? Where it's like we need to express like this could be lingerie shopping. This could be like spicing things up in the bedroom type situation when i see this because some of you may be practically just abstaining uh from any kind of activity or not be enjoying it and it's odd to see that here it's that's just what i have i want to move forward now that that's a very uncomfortable energy right there from what i'm seeing and i don't mean to shirk it i don't mean to say like just we're just gonna put it off the magician and the queen of cups are saying you you guys know what this is about you guys know what needs to be done here and if i can say anything about this nine of wands we may be holding on too closely to some kind of idea some kind of uh notion that we have about the way things should be and we're not fully in a place of expansion to accept a lover a love offering um or to enjoy passionate love making to its fullest extent uh, I don't see this being a block creativity, like creatively wise in regards to your projects because that magician was there. You may be finding that you are creating things and you may just be a little bit unsatisfied, but you're being overly critical, overly harsh of yourself. Okay, so let, let's move on from there. We'll, we'll see if anything else pertains and we'll come back to it if we have to. All right, three of cups energy up in your solar plexus. Okay, so this comes back to the fool because when I see three of cups energy in lower chakra, this is a bit of an immature energy, right? This is good socializing, which is nice. It is good uh, harmony usually uh, between friends and between people involved, right? This is sort of a carefree, uh, unbounded type energy of, of flowing uh, in harmony with other people you're kind of manifesting your own happiness through your own get together so it's really good what I, when I say what I mean when it's immature it's just kind of like I always this is for people who are in a position to be carefree and normally this is like teenagers or people in their early 20s who just haven't like really had to bear down yet and get all of these like um Hardcore responsibilities like people that have do not have children yet or people who are still kind of like ch like children in their own mind. So you want to talk about going out and do some shopping for clothes? This is the card for this right here, right? Three of Cups. You'll have a blast going out and doing it. Call some good friends when you go out and do it. Spend the whole dang day at the mall and try on every pair. Come home with, you know, 28 pairs of shoes and 17 new dresses. It's going to make you feel good inside as long as you can afford it, right? So... 
That being said, this is going to be a harmonious times. If you're not pulling what you can out of your uh, significant other in a relationship, or if you find yourself pining over a person, call your buddies up or call your girlfriends up. Uh, go out, shoot some hoops or go shopping or, or do some exercises and, and, and feel good about yourself together with somebody else. That's what Three of Cups is saying, okay? And that energy, that, that outlet is there for you to use if you need. Okay, now we got more people coming up. We got King of Pentacles reversed. And man, he can be a real stick in the mud when he comes up reversed and he's showing up in the heart. So some of you have definitely tuned in a little bit closer with your attentive mind on this situation about the love. All right. And this King of Pentacles is the reflection of the person that you're inquiring about because they are there in your heart. And this is Earth sign now. This is a Taurus. This could be you, Capricorn. Uh, and this is Virgo type energy. Okay. So are you in a situation where you are not feeling very emotional when you're not wanting to experience, um, new things at this time, you're working on yourself and that's, that's okay. But then like when you go out into the world, right, are you kind of like, um, still not feeling very confident? You've still not feeling maybe like, uh, you know, I don't know what it is, like, almost like everything is centered around this King of Pentacles reverse. This can be like very selfish type energy, but selfish doesn't always have to be bad. There's good selfishness and bad selfishness. Good selfishness is when you are taking care, you're eating properly, you're telling people you don't have time to go out and do toxic things. That is a good level of selfishness where you're working on embettering yourself or you're working on seeing this goal and because it is so important to you, so it's so passionate to you, you are not spending any money on anything else at this time. You are, like we talked about, like creating that environment so we're not sidetracked ever. And this could be like saving up money or only purchasing things that are going to help you get to your goal sort of thing, right? So for those of you that are in that sort of energy of, of that being the case, I would really like to make sure that there's a balance there, okay? This has a potential, like maybe just for these two weeks, you are so focused or borderline obsessing over per, a particular goal that you are shutting everything out, okay? And that's okay as long as this doesn't, last into like a long a longer term right then you might start to lose out on some certain things if you're in earth earth relationships say you're dating another capricorn you're dating a taurus or or a virgo and this situation applies to you where you're like well maybe that other earth sign is very obsessed or caught up or maybe there's been a little bit of disharmony because somebody's been very selfish with their time they're not giving as much in the relationship in regards to schedule and time and maybe you're doing some cross-watching, this is a very valuable message to know that Capricorn or another Earth sign could be going through these energies of uh, just like realigning their resources in what appears to be a selfish way because they have a new particular path or a new particular goal in mind. Hopefully it involves you, okay? But if you need to talk to this person, you may not get too much out of them at present time unless you are one of these people that is like, at the same time, going out and kind of doing what they want to do, right? Sort of thing. So if two Capricorns dating one another, that's fine. You guys will get it. You guys will know exactly what's going on. If you're dating another Earth sign, it'll be easier for you to understand. If you're absolutely not <laughs> seeing this situation, right, you may have to explain to your partner what it is you're going through in order so that they can like see like oh okay i get it i see i see like it's just not a good time like i'll check back with you again like next week right or i'll i'll just go do my own thing right and then that way you can reconvene at another time or pick things up where you left off so let's make sure that you know it's the good kind of selfishness that's coming about uh with this king of pentacles reverse when we're realigning our environment and ourselves to to get to the, where we're going and to improve our self-esteem okay that sort of thing all right, let's move on. <sighs> court card after court card. My goodness, this energy is going to leave me exhausted. We've got Knight of Swords now up in communication. He's reversed, okay? So the communication, being able to tell your partner what you're going through, this might be difficult for some of you. And this might be difficult for other people to hear uh, is the feeling I have. You almost, it's like 
you have a lot that you may want to say about to what level you're willing to take your own, put yourself ahead of the relationship. Um, but it needs to be stated. And you may have to like do it as a combination of showing them and sort of subtly hinting them and telling them. You don't want to break anybody's hearts that you may be taking a break or slowing things down at present time because you are putting yourself ahead of the relationship. And hopefully you're not the type of person to be screwing around on somebody or nobody else is screwing around on you, right? But the, the situation is, is like there needs to be some expectations um, set or communicated in regards to what this next i feel like this is going to be a challenging time for capricorn now even though we're like coming out gangbusters here we're in recognition of the goal we're passionately uh chasing it the feeling is is that the people closest to us are going to be affected by this now and how they respond is going to be a real mix mash of things some people are not going to want to talk to you about it at all or some people you're going to really ha need to talk to about them <clears throat> excuse me and that of swords could also mean is that sometimes when we try too hard to get somewhere we encounter more obstacles because we're putting ourselves in front of the alignment of the way things are meant to flow the way things are meant to happen right we're engaging it we might end up using using this situation to get to that situation and then all the while people are like oh my god this person is just you know, and they may be really affected by that or, or you may leave a bad taste in their mouth from that sort of energy. Because the fool, oh, it does still come with that warning about stepping off the cliff's edge, right? I kind of sugarcoated it a bit when I first pulled it up because I was excited to see it in an overall energy because it is really good. But again, most readers will issue the cautionary uh, symbolism in this card of being like, there is a risk of, of going too hard after it, getting after it and going too far. And other people, it's just like, the starting gun is about to go off. You leave the starting blocks. You're 10 yards ahead, and then you realize, oh, it was a false start. And then you kind of look like a fool. You jump the starting gun, right? Sort of thing. <clears throat> and that kind of analogy will apply it to your situation, right? So there is that risk of that danger of like coming out on the wrong end if you, if you aren't being mindful of how other people have supported you up until this point. And then you have something new in mind and then you just go ahead and leave and go for it. And then the people that were supporting you or being a kind ear or helpful friend up into that point are like, wow, that was really ungrateful. That was really, really weird. So <clears throat> I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm just saying to be mindful of these energies. You might be one of these supportive people and this might be the vice versa type energy. Somebody in your environment may be making you feel like this as well, Capricorn. OK, I just see it as one way, like. Drop the somebody, buddy. Everybody's a somebody, right? Till everybody's a nobody, buddy. You know, buddy? So that kind of thing, right? We can treat it as mundane as we want, but we try to look and dig a little deeper <clears throat> and know that there's two sides to every coin. Excuse me. Now we have number four, the emperor. The emperor is up in our pineal gland in our, uh, in our um, third eye chakra. And the emperor is great energy to have anywhere in the reading, especially when you apply it to your situation. So again, we're going to this like kind of it's like a stubborn, like I am who I am. I'm doing what I want to do and I'm going to do it for as long as I want to do it. The feeling is, is that whatever goal you're chasing is very important to you. Whatever realization you've come to Capricorn at this particular time is very important to you. For some of you, this could be going back to school. You could be like setting things up to learn more, to educate yourself a little bit more. For some of you, you may be now uh, deciding to apply your talents uh, um, in a way that's more profitable for you, in a way where you're not feeling like everybody's getting the best of you and your energy is being drained and you know your talents are being wasted for somebody else's profit right the emperor here in this deck he holds the ace of wands in his hands so and when we talk about that that ace of wands and these new beginnings and we have the fool and we have the knight of wands here this emperor is ready to move through this thing that he is passionate about this project that he's got on this go or this idea or notion that he or she had i gotta include the she that he or she has to get this done. So some people, you're going to either you yourself or people you are encountering in the end of May here are going to be unwavering. It will be a tough time to negotiate. So look for these signs, right? Of people like maybe they're like kind of like turning it off in the bedroom or not really wanting to snuggle up as much, right? Um, or they're being a little bit distant, uncommunicative. You know, they're not making time for you. These kinds of situations know that it's not going to be a good time 
to negotiate because the Knight of Swords means no, like very limited, no activity, right? As things are a bit of a standstill. So it's going to be tough to negotiate anything you want to get out of a person at this time when you're picking up on the subtle hints. If they want to give you the silent treatment, if they're giving you the cold shoulder, if they're just not returning your calls or your texts, just let this person be. And if this is you, that's up. This is up for Capricorn. Um, I would caution uh, just to give a quick explanation to anybody that is important to you that you need to take some time to reevaluate priorities or that you've got a new goal, a new project, and that you're going to be chasing it. And, you know, if you got to tell them, you know, that you're you're kind of, you're locking the doors and you're shutting the window blinds for a few days, that's okay, right? Just make sure you don't fall out of touch. All right. Four of Pentacles. What are we holding on to a little too tightly? Source is saying now here, mm -hmm. these, these esteem issues that are here and this way you're feeling about yourself, almost like some of you are feeling like you can't move forward. Or some of you are feeling like <clears throat> um, maybe even that your good nature may have been used to a certain extent. Um, the Four of Pentacles is a tough energy to see and read into. It's a very important pip card. I'm not going to lie. Um, because this is like material uh, things that hold us down. Some of you are feeling like there's not enough time in the day to get everything done that you want to get done. And some of you are maybe feeling like um, it's going to be tough to get after this goal or whatever I want until some residual energies are dealt with, some things are done. You may be needing to to sell some things, to liberate, to liquidate some particular assets in order to uh, motion yourself towards the new goal. It's interesting to see Four of Cups up here coming in from Crown Chakra <clears throat> because the sense with this card is like, it's miserly. It's like, no, it's, it goes back to this. This is like really, sorry, let me get this closer to the camera for you. This is really the same type of energy, right? This is like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not spending any money. I'm not doing anything. Um, I'm not, I'm not able to let go of this, this idea or this notion. I'm not um, at a point where I'm mastering anything right now. And it could be because the energy is so new and with newness, with change, there's always a little bit of apprehension that comes along with it. I totally get it, right? What are you maybe being like, well, I'm going to need to save every penny I'm to in order to get to my goal, in order to, you know, fix this car up or start my new business or whatever this new goal is, right? I'm not going to, and you know, when for those of you like going out shopping and enhancing your self-image, you may be feeling a little divided about that. Maybe it's like, you have to evaluate what's more important. Is it, is it your how you are presenting yourself to the world or is it your inner goal, your long-term goal? There may be like that, that division of what's more important. Where do you allocate your resources right now? Do you spend on self image or are you comfortable enough in self that you take that money and you spend it on on your goal on getting towards your goal? So sort of on your environment, right? Because really when you think about it, there's like, Two things that mo that money and, and resources are spent on. It's either spent on yourself or it's spent on your environment, right? Really. Um, and then, well, I guess the third thing would be is, is it's spent on other people, right? But that is kind of like your environment as well because you're in harmony with these other people, right? So some of you may have come here with a larger question of like, I'm just feeling like kind of broke right now, maybe because it's like you are doing too much of both, right? You're chasing a goal, but you maybe have it like dealing with certain esteem issues or positioning issues about the way you look, uh, not feeling comfortable. And you're like, well, there's not enough to do both things. And source could be really challenging with you with that and saying like, look, Capricorn, what's important to you? What's important to you? Is it important to you to like, uh, you know, and it could be different for everybody. Somebody might, you know, not be able to afford to go to the dentist, although they really want to improve their smile. And, my, you know, my heart goes out to you on that. And that's the number one thing. And maybe you can't go out, hang out with Susie and Jenny at the nightclub and, you know, pick up on, you know, uh, Johnny football player and, and have your fun because, you know, it's very important to you that you have this particular thing done, right? Whatever that might be. All right. So I just wanted to clarify here. So this card here of anchors up, like little grounding, right, uh, type energy. 
I would suggest no needless spending unless you have firmly evaluated what it is that you want. This could be a very reflective time. You need to get your your proverbial sailboat under control. You need to get some direction. See these ski seagulls? Seagulls, they fly about with absolutely no foreseeable goal in their future other than a stinking french fry in the parking lot. They're just like... I mean, I don't this beautiful nature's creature, right? But like at the same time, seagull is just like, where are you going? What are you doing? Are you just existing? Like what, what is it? You know, is there a social construct here? Is, are all the seagulls out for themselves? Or is there a greater harmony with all of them? What exactly is going on with these silly seagulls, right? And it kind of apply that as a metaphor to your situation. Like determine for yourself, what's more important? Is it more important to look good? Or is it more important to feel good, right? That kind of thing. And it's not an easy one. If you're going through these issues, I would suggest this is your powerhouse in your in this reading here, uh, Capricorn. This emperor and this three of cups. Talk to your friends about it. We've got to get over this hump of this communication. If other people don't know what they, what you're going through, you're not. You may not be able to understand it yourself uh, because you you may need to rely on the advice of a good friend. Or somebody that can say, you know what, you really need to take time to to feel better uh, and and accomplish the things you want to be accomplishing. Don't worry if you take time out from doing the things that you're used to doing. Uh, if you've got a new direction, you've really got to step up and you've really got to own it, right? And spirit will show you the way for that. But source is kind of almost saying here, it needs a certain level of conviction from you. Are you going? Is this goal absolutely what you want or are you happy and more content to go with the new spring wardrobe look good and go out and and kind of uh get get yourself to a place where you're feeling uh you know too hot to trot again sort of thing all right capricorn it's been an interesting reading there's a lot of like Split energies and, and divisive court cards that are up here that are just like throwing curveballs at me every which way I look, all right? If anything from this tarot has come up here, look at how opposite these energies are. The fool and the emperor, right? This is almost like, you picture like medieval times or maybe like a movie where it's like, the jester comes before the king and he does his little dance, he does his little act and the king makes a judgment on it, right? And he's like, uh, I don't like that, away with you, to the brig with you or to the dungeon with you. You do not please me, your actions do not please me, right? Um, or the fool makes a very good impression and, and pleases the king to the point where now the fool is elevated and he has power over, you know, farms and kingdoms. He turns him into a, a noble person because he sees the genius behind the comedy, right? These are very opposite energies. So I think the big message I would like to give with these major arcana cards, Capricorn, is don't be too critical of yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself. And don't be too worried. Like, you know, unless you're in a situation where it's like, Employment is an issue and resources are an issue, which we could look at that on a Monday level where definitely it could be you're kind of worrying where the next paycheck is coming from. And if that is the case, we're really going to have to buckle up, cut people out of our lives and not do any uh, unnecessary spending. But don't be too hard on yourself. And if you are in a situation, just realize if you're having to make certain sacrifices in the way you look, in having new clothes because resources are an issue, but your goal is actually to go out there and have another job, just create that environment around you. Create this goal at bedtime. Be your own best friend in terms of getting what you want. Because all these things like new clothes and, and you know uh, whatever it is, this thing that you're passionate about, that can all come in time. We need to make sure that the basic, uh, the basics are looked after, and you know what that is. You know what it is that makes you feel good. Uh, you know that like a nice hot meal and a, a nice warm running water is where it's at for you. Then that's what we gotta keep on the go. All right, Capricorn. Sorry, I was struggling a little bit with this reading. I won't lie. I'm not perfect. I don't see every reading like as aw like as awesome, or I don't feel like I can like really, you know. Any, any reader that says they perfectly know 100%, you just got to kind of be like, what up, right? Okay, so we've got balancing act and we've got flying. So 
very again very ungrounded energies in this balancing act let's i'm going to read both of these for you capricorn because i feel like oracle has a lot more to say than what i was able to pull from tarot all right and these readings are going long this month so i quote for this is for number 11 balancing act okay she's up on the cloud on a statue she's got a string everything looks like it can fall at the drop of a dime but let's see what it says you are calm within no matter the fluctuation of outer conditions there are times when things seem a bit topsy-turvy and it feels as if you're there juggling a thousand balls in the air. Perhaps you're unsure of your footing. Now is the moment to evaluate each area of your life and restore equilibrium and balance to those areas. Choose harmony over discord and great success will be yours. You will find inner stability when you choose a balanced, focused and level path. So I guess, yeah, that really did capstone what we were trying to drive out of this tower, right? We're finding this balance. We're finding out what's important. We're evaluating which areas of our life do require that balance and importance. And Capricorn, you guys are so smart that I can see you actually going through this process of wanting to do this and, and evaluate this. So that's, uh, that's a good reassuring card that that is actually where you're at right now. And then you've got number 20 up, flying. We've got this like psychedelic, like winged horse. Like this is like some Led Zeppelin stuff going on right here. Just like over top of the, what do they call that? The labyrinth hedge maze down below. So let's see what's going. He's like taking the shortcut. Quote, you have the power to see things from a higher perspective. End quote. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? They see them seagulls? If, what would you do if you were a seagull, right? Okay, if you, sorry. If you were a bird flying high in the air, what would you see? When you soar above life's challenges and opportunities, a new perspective becomes available. Today you have invisible wings that allow you to swiftly bring your circumstances into alignment with your highest purpose. This is a sign that your waiting is over and that all your hard work has paid off and the things that you have hoped for are no longer beyond your scope. You have the ability to reach for the stars and find one with your name on it. Spread your wings and soar. The angels are waiting for you. So definitely, we've got this like, we know, we know this, right? We've got this. We are well upon our way. So let's not worry. Let's not get dragged down by our own doubts and misconceptions. And then here we go. We're doing the balancing act. We're both the king and the fool at the same time, right? We have the power to be our own best friend, but we also have the power to be our own worst enemy. So let's make sure we're checking ourselves on those levels. Capricorn, it took the last two minutes of this reading for it to all make sense for me. It's so friggin' weird, but I want to thank you for your attention through this long-winded reading. Know that I love you all, and we'll see you next time.